guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit of a different one for me but I was actually asked over on my Instagram if I could share my daughter's toy collection because I share a lot on their sort of day-to-day -day life and this follower had said that they just noticed that my daughters play really well with toys particularly Sophia my eldest who is three and a half. She plays really well with her toys, she does a lot of imaginative play and they just basically wanted to see the toy collection and to see what we had maybe give some ideas of some toys that are appropriate for three-year-olds. So just for a bit of context, I have Sophia who is three and a half and I have Amelia who is almost two now. She's two in the middle of August. It's just flown by. So they are different age ranges, but Amelia is now starting to play with some of Sophia's toys. Obviously some of them, like the Barbies and some of the bits you'll see, have smaller parts, so they are under supervision. But Sophia is now at an age where a whole new world of toys have been opened up to her. A lot of toys are three plus, and it has made it so much easier to know what to buy. And she is a child who loves imaginative play. She loves role playing, and in particular, she loves mimicking our day-to-day -day life. So sometimes, in fact she's so good at it I have to actually ask her if she's really talking to me when she's saying mummy or if she's playing so sometimes she'll pretend the baby's upset and then the baby will say mummy mummy and I'm like is that do you need me like and she's, no I'm playing so it's really nice and she does involve Amelia with her not always to Amelia's <laughs> want she doesn't always want to be involved but there we go that's just siblings isn't it but anyway I, I thought this would be a nice video to make and I hope you enjoy it okay so let's go into their toys. So they have mainly their toys in their playroom and in the playroom they have different sections. So Amelia has this little people house that she plays with. That was one of her Christmas presents actually. I would really recommend that for younger children and it's quite nice because Sophia can play along with that as well. And then in the main section we have this main chest of toys, main toy storage box, and we have different sections for it. So we have books, now they get rotated monthly. We rotate all of their toys roughly monthly, but as and when we get time really. But yeah, they have those books and we tend to have the, that's not my books out there, the ones that they can both access. And Sophia likes to read along or try to read along with those ones. And Amelia likes sort of spotting the mouse and touching in the sensory bits. So it works well for both of them. And then we always have bricks, but these vary. So we have wooden bricks at the moment, but we also have duplo bricks. And then we have those like soft bricks. I can't remember what they're called, but we have those as well. So they get rotated out as and when. And then their favorite section so far, or Sophia's favorite section is her Barbie section. This used to be just a small world section. And I would swap out the small world bits, like it might be animals or it might be cars or whatever. Now she's into Barbies and those kind of doll figures. It stays that way all the time. It's really messy. So I'm gonna have a little sort out of this, but yeah, she, we just put those in there. And I think that's something we're gonna build up her collection of and buy more of those Barbie type dolls because she just loves them at the moment. Underneath that, we keep her Barbie car. It's got a wing mirror missing, but just little bits everywhere. This is not a perfect toy room. This is a very lived in toy room. It's a very, or play room. It's very lived in. We're in it a lot. It's, they're not perfect toys. And there's a mixture of wood and there's a mixture of plastic. There's a mixture of secondhand. There's a mixture of new. There's just everything in there. Anyway, this car was bought by her grandparents for a birthday. So we keep that out all the time as well underneath where the Barbies are. Then the cubby holes, I tend to sort of rotate at the moment in one of them. We've got medical and a little dentist set. So that's quite new out actually. So I think I'll keep that out for now. But yeah, we have just any sort of little role play sets, anything that I think they're into at that time. And then underneath that is currently a music section. But I think I'm going to change that because they don't actually use the music toys that much. They were great when they were babies, but now they're just, they're just not that into them. So I think I'm going to swap those ones out. That's what it is currently. Then we have like a baby section. So the actual baby dolls, they both love their baby dolls. Amelia in particular at the moment loves the baby dolls. So we have like the potters, nappies, all of those bits in there. Underneath is puzzles and we have so many puzzles, so many games. So yeah, that's underneath there. And then we have bigger things like at the moment we've got this rocking unicorn thing and we have the dolls prams out. The dolls prams stay out all the time but the rocking unicorn, we've actually kept that out quite a while actually since Christmas since they got it. But we do have other bigger items that I tend to rotate out. I don't like too many big things out. I just think it gets cluttered. And then the other side, they have a little dressing up area. So Sophia loves dressing up. So she's kind of got a basket full of bits and bobs which does need to sort out. And then she's got some costumes hung up and I do rotate some of those as well. We have some in her bedroom too. She has a little sensory 
basket so all the like squishies and poppets and anything like that any random bits we tend to put in there and then she's got a little desk a little easel which does turn into a full easel to do painting but she mainly uses that for like drawing and coloring and then on the tower the top bit is for me actually it's my nail varnish stuff underneath that at the moment we have the rest of the little people because Amelia got loads of those for Christmas so I just think they're nice to store in there and then underneath that we have animals there are some more animals somewhere in the garage the garage is where we keep all of the other toys when we do the toy rotation it's an absolute mess at the moment but we'll get to that at the very bottom are spare books so spare books of like the wooden books and the, that not that's not my books they're not really wooden books are they they're cardboard the other thing i forgot to say is that we have a few toys in the toy room on the top as well so yeah we have some toys on there that like don't fit in the spaces but they're just there that's the main playroom there is also a ball pit in there behind the chair so there's a ball pit but i just I hate getting that out, I'm going to be honest, because the balls just end up everywhere. And there's like a pop-up tent as well in the Ottoman, and there's a car mat. So they kind of stay there all the time, but out of sight. Then we also have the kitchen area. So this little kitchen area, this was upcycled. It was my nephew's, and then my sister-in-law like painted and upcycled it for Sophia. And I'll be honest, she didn't really get into it until she was about two. First of year she had it, she kind of just ignored it. And then she really got into it, and now it's played with all the time. Both girls potter in it all the time. They love making us food making us tea parties making us cups of tea and it's a really good one to have in the kitchen area like this is in our dining room area but it's an open kitchen diner it's a really good one to have in there because if you're trying to make tea or make their lunch or something and they're kind of getting under your feet you can say oh can you go make me a cup of tea can you go make me that and off, off they trot and yeah and they go and make that we also have the cleaning bits that they like to role play cleaning as again another great one if you're trying to get cleaning done get them to get their cleaning toys to do it and a high chair so that stays there all the time also in the kitchen dining area in this cupboard we have things like kinetic sand games puzzles extra coloring books just things like that that i realized we couldn't really rotate those anymore because they just like to have them at their disposal and they're great like rainy day things so we can keep them all under there and then they just get them as they need them so that cupboard is used quite a lot actually and then we have upstairs so i'm currently in sophia's bedroom and she has a teepee with her books in and uh, teddy's in and then she has a doll's house which they stay there all the time. She did have a few other little dolls bits up, but I'm gonna kind of clear those out and just keep this bedroom really simple. And then in her toy box, she had some spare toys. I didn't really know what was in there, to be honest. It was a bit of a surprise. And loads of books. We're massive book people, so one of the things I want to do is to like swap the books out. And then in Amelia, she just has a couple of little toys. Nothing major, again, a few more books. I just like to have a couple of toys up here, so that when I'm trying to get ready, and I'm like, again, when they're getting under your feet, you can kind of encourage them to go and play with those toys, but I've not been very good at swapping them out so they've definitely got bored of the toys up here so I'm definitely going to put some new ones up here sometimes I just take when I'm doing a toy rotation I take the favorite ones that they've played with in the playroom and put them up here and then put new ones in the playroom then we just have the outside so we just have some outdoor things the playhouse swing and slide there's all the bits there's little outdoor toys in the shed as well but we just sort of get those out on the sunny day but yeah that is pretty much their toys the embarrassing thing is where we store all of their other toys that are in the toy rotation <laughs> it's kind of got a bit out of hand as, as their toy collection has grown obviously we have two girls so we get a lot of we just get a lot of toys and we get we're like the youngest ones in our family so we get hand-me-downs as well from like older cousins and things so we've just got a lot of toys which we're really grateful for but we are kind of at capacity now and it's nearly Amelia's birthday so I think in the summer holidays because I'm a teacher so I've got summer holidays soon I'm gonna have a massive massive toy sort out and any kind of duplicate ones any like duplicate shape sorting or any anything like that yeah i'm gonna gonna have a sort out put some to charity give some to friends just sort them out that'll be a whole video in itself so in the garage i originally had them all in these plastic boxes they were all organized i had like puzzles in one bricks in another but we've just outgrown them and as the toys have got bigger as well they don't fit in the boxes so as you can see it's a mess we do also currently have our bathroom in there we're, we're having our bathroom completely renovated so that's in there as well so it doesn't normally look that messy normally the toys are accessible at least but they've got a bit disorganized and when I've been looking to get grab toys as and when I want to do toy rotations there's been a lot of like big daddy long leg spiders in there so it's kind of freaking me out I'm like I need a, a closed box system or something so I think I'm going to need to get various sizes of 
storage boxes and kind of have have them all in storage boxes because I don't like the spiders <laughs> that's where they all are it is chaotic so I'm not going to do like a full full toy rotation I used to bring all the boxes in swap every toy out but it was just too much for me so what I tend to do now is pick certain areas and swap those out like I'll maybe one week like swap the puzzles out and then a couple of weeks later I'll swap some of the bigger toys out or I'll swap like I'll put different animals in I'll put the cars in and take the animals out like I do that kind of thing now I'm going to talk about the toy rotation in a bit more detail so as I just mentioned I used to bring them all in but now I kind of do it as and when sometimes I just pick a certain area so I'm going to be honest this has been filmed over two days because I've just haven't had the time to do it all in one go so I'm going to have two different outfits on the b-roll clips like the overview clips but I decided yesterday that it would be a good idea to sort the books out we're a massive book family the girls love books I love books we love reading we read to them every night before bed one or two stories they just love it we read throughout the day we just always have books and we've been really really fortunate that we've inherited a lot of books from family and friends and, and I haven't swapped them out in a while so they've been the same books and while I think it's important for children to reread the same books I also want to kind of add a few new ones in in case there's any new stories that they really like so the first thing I decided to do this toy rotation was to sort the books out so I wanted to tidy up the books in the box and kind of see what was in there and then swap out Sophia's books so I'm just kind of sorting them out and deciding which ones I think she'll like I've kept a few of her favorites I've also taken a lot out I think there's too many in there I think I need to just have less in there but rotate them more regularly any sort of educational ones I think I'm going to put down into the playroom and have those there any that are in the wrong place I'm just sort of sorting them out and then also swapping Amelia's as well and I really want hers to be she she loves the cardboard books she loves any flaps like she's just that age she's two that's what she likes so I kind of want hers to be all like that so that is basically what I'm doing just sorting them all out that actually took quite a long time and yesterday we had a wedding to go to so I did like have to abandon it that is all I managed to get done but I feel like that was a good start there's also a few books that we needed to fix and a few library books so it, it did take a while but this morning I did actually manage to start sorting out the playroom with Sophia I haven't finished it yet I'm gonna film this bit and then go and film the other clips in a minute we're sorting out the dolls and the Barbies first because they've kind of all got a bit mixed up and they're the ones that are gonna stay so I'm just gonna sort those out make sure all the doll stuff are there and I, I've brought down her bath as well I thought I might take out the rocking horse and put that somewhere else I might even bring that up into Amelia's room or something that is technically Amelia's that rocking horse move that out and then create a little like dolls area so I've got the bath the car seat the potty the cot and the pram so that they're all there because like I say Amelia loves playing with those and just tidy the box up a bit make sure everything's like in the right place and then the same with the dolls just have a sort out of all the little bits like the shoes and everything just see if I can find any pairs because we've lost quite a few <laughs> hopefully that will make it a bit easy for them to play with now for the other toys I don't actually think I'm going to change too much because like I said I haven't done it that long ago I only recently put those bits down but what I am going to do is take the bus and the little square sort of thing put that in Amelia's room because I think she'll like she likes those kind of posting puzzle activities so I'm going to put those in her room and then I think that's all I'm going to put upstairs actually for now I can always grab more if I need to what I thought I would do is I brought this ice cream thing down because Sophia actually saw it in the garage yesterday and started playing with it in the front garden with the neighbour so I thought right they loved that when we had when we got that for Christmas and they played with it for months and then I kind of thought I don't want them to over play with it and get bored of it so I took it away but I think we'll bring that back out they just love sitting making the ice creams and then she also has a cash register as well so I think I'm going to bring that out so we can play shops and then I'm going to keep the medical stuff too because that's quite new out they've not been played with that for a while so I'm going to keep that and I think that's it I think with it being summer I'm not going to have too much else inside I think in the like colder months in autumn and winter I'll probably bring some of the bigger items in as well like we've got got a big brick table thing that they can build on like with the duplo so I'll probably bring that in in the winter but they're outside a lot I mean it's not it's not great weather now it's actually really cloudy but they are generally outside a lot and I think there's no need to have loads of the big toys inside when they're mainly in the garden like we haven't actually at the moment been playing that much in the playroom because it's just been such nice weather oh we did recently have out the train track but they didn't really play with it to be honest I, what I need to do is find some better trains it was a set from our and it's like an electric train and it just like the batteries run out and we've tried to change it and it's not worked and it's just it doesn't really go on its own so I need to find some like proper 
proper trains that just roll and I think they'll play with that more. I think that's it though, I can't really think of anything else and I don't want to put too much in because like I said it is Amelia's birthday soon so what we'll probably do, what we tend to do when it's birthdays is keep all of those toys and I tend to clear out a lot of toys just before birthdays and Christmas and then put all the new ones in when they're all excited so I don't want to put too much more in. Sometimes I panic I haven't put enough out and I see others with like loads of toys and they're playing really well with all the toys but personally for my girls I've noticed they play better when there's less toys. They play more imaginatively because there's less so they play with what's there better. I don't know if that makes sense but yeah less is less is more for my girls. They just, Sophia in particular can get a little bit overwhelmed with things and I just also I get overwhelmed when there's so much mess. When there's less toys it's so much easier to tidy up when everything fits in a place it's just easier that's why I do toy rotation if I'm honest because it's just easier to manage on a day-to-day -day basis just jumping in because it was actually impossible to get to the toys in the garage with all the bathroom stuff there so I'm definitely gonna have to wait till the bathroom's done in a few weeks but I did manage to grab a couple of extra bits so I got the cash register I've added in this little dog into the role play bit and then I'm also gonna put this up in Mimi's room as well because she has one of these at nursery and she really likes it she goes to nursery one day a week so she's I haven't overused it but also Sophia likes it as well this is a good one a little slot in it in one so yeah I'm adding those to it and that is pretty much it that is our toy collection it's ever growing and it needs reducing but that is our toy collection that's how we do toy rotation I used to try and do it once a month but I found that too much pressure so sometimes I'll be honest we go like three months without rotating them and then I'll notice that they're getting bored of the toys so we swap sometimes I do it every month sometimes I do it every few weeks just I pick like a little area and rotate it there's really no rhyme or reason to it I find if I if I put a pressure on myself to do something like every month or do it this regularly I, I get overwhelmed so I, I I tend to just do it as and when I think we need it so I hope that helps I hope that maybe gives you some ideas of some good toys that you could play with like I say my girls love imaginative play they love role playing so those are our main toys they're not as much into arts and crafts oh I've totally forgotten we do also have like paint and play-doh and all of that but I keep that under the stairs so yeah we do have that but they don't well actually she's she's gone off play-doh a bit she went through a phase where she wanted play-doh every day um, and she's gone off it a bit so yeah she's definitely into like the the role playing now and I've just seen the length of this video it is going to be quite a long one so I'm going to stop this now and leave you to it let me know what else you want to see I am going to film when I do sort the toys out I'm going to do that I, I'm going to put it out I'm going to tell you that I'm going to film it and then it keeps me accountable to it so that'll probably be like at the end of August or something but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one bye guys mm -hmm.